Welcome to Totally Awesome's Tackle Tips. And you know, if you get it from the horse's mouth, it's going to be good, it's going to be cheap. What else is it going to be? Oh yeah, practical. Come and have a look at this. You'll be well impressed. Well, I went fishing last night. Beach fishing. Off the south coast. It was freezing cold. I caught one whiting. I didn't know what I ended up with when I came back. I ended up with this. And you know what this is? That's the remains of all my rigs. That, after I finished fishing, I quickly and hastily cut off the line, dropped it into a bucket and thought, I'll sort that out tomorrow. What a mug. What a complete twat. Look at this lot I've got to sort out. And I could have made life so much easier. And indeed now, I have made life so much easier with my latest invention from Totally Awesome Fishing and Tackle. Wait till you see this, it's a cracker. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. And we've all been there. We've all had this, a totally awesome tackle mess. It doesn't matter whether you're a cool fisherman, a trout fisherman, a sea fisherman, or a big game fisherman, sooner or later, you're going to have one of these in your tackle box. Trust me, it will happen. Why not make life a lot easier with a totally awesome tackle tip, and it is one of these. Yes, I don't think you know what it is, do you? I'll tell you. And, secret one, Ooh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. What's this going to be, folks? What's he, what's he cutting up this time? Oh, it's the bottom half of a drinks container. Right, pen and paper out, this is what we do. Because this is a piece of pipe insulation. Now, it's what I call closed cell, it doesn't soak up water. Now, one of the problems I had before, I have those Ziploc pouches, fine. You go and buy a Ziploc pouch for all your tackle rigs, you slide them all in there, you close the Ziploc, you go fishing, you come back, you take them out of the salt water, you put them back in the Ziploc bag, and you seal it up perfectly, so all that salt is in there, eating away at everything, hooks, etc. Now, you should wash those rigs off before you put them in the bag. You should dry them before you put them in the bag and close that ziplock. But do we? No, of course we don't. We want to go home. We've been fishing. We want to go home. Throw it all in a bucket, chuck it in a zip bag, close it up. And then next time, two months later when you open it up, it's a heap of rusted hooks and swivels. This way, it's in the air. I can actually put my rigs in here, show you in a minute. I could wash it off with a hose pipe, I can leave it to dry in the garage or wherever, and then I can put it away dry. No rusty hooks, no rusty swivels. Much better I feel. And the cost is... <laughs> yeah. Yes, it should only cost you what this does in a DIY shop. A couple of pounds, a couple of dollars, whatever. Because it normally comes in meter long lengths. But what's this for? Okay. I cut the top of a lemonade bottle, a large one, to a two litre one. And that being circular, and this being circular means ooh, it can stay inside there. So, all you have to do is push it in, come in a little bit about an inch there, and then just cut that off with something as complicated as a box cutter or a standing knife. Now, I did tell you it was easy and simple. It gets even better. Don't cut your fingers with it, health and safety, wear gloves. Snap, throw the rest away. Now this insulation pipe comes with, if you can see that, a split. It comes in with a split in it there, you see? You see? So this is dead handy, and this is how it works for the rigs. Okay, now this should take pretty well all your rigs. Even down to this one, which is, if you can see that there, a panel rig. Hook at the bottom, as used off the beach, not to good effect, I'm afraid, last night with a whole squid and a sliding wrappable hook there. You think, oh, that's really going to tangle in it. But no, because what you do with this is dead easy. Into that split, you push just there, your swivel. Just pinch it down into the split that's already made there. And then you just wind your trace around and around until it comes tight. And of course... That foam's good. You can actually nick both hooks in there, just like that. Now that's good. 
because when I want to take them off, I go pop, pop, unroll it, and I'll basically just add bait, and then of course, add water. Now you can also put other traces on there, as long as you've got, like this one's a big long panel rig, a uh, big long pattern master rig, as long as you've got this swivel at the end, which you obviously, most people do have, because that needs to push in that gap. If you can see that gap there, I could probably get six rigs in here. Just push right through there, get in there, you little monkey. Round you go. There's the first hook, just here. So I just nick that in, just like that. Then continue wrapping, keeping it all on line. Don't crisscross them, don't wrap them up, up and down the tube. You want them all in a line so they unroll easily. Just wrap it round and around and around till I come to the hook at the end, which is there. Dead easy, keep it nice and tight like that. Into the foam, beautiful. Even for really long rigs, which, you know, three or four feet, five feet, a little short panel rig, it's a Wessex rig, this one. Ordinarily, this lot would be absolutely guaranteed a mess in any tackle box. Open that split again. Don't forget when you wind this up, it helps pinch that split close. As soon as you've got the first one and it closes it up. So just open it with your thumb like that. Pop it in. Wind it around till you come to the first hook. That just goes bang into the, he says, getting the back barbs in his finger. And the next one goes round. Round and round and round. I've done this one in blue, so hopefully you can see it. And then in we go. Pop it in there. And then the idea is, of course, you can leave that in your tackle box as it stands. Or you think, do you know, although those hooks are buried like that, they might still tangle up. Well, if you use that trusty lemonade bottle and pop them inside, that's the rig ready done. And of course, what's the worst one for tangling? Yes, yes, here they come. The mackerel feathers, they are a living nightmare especially mine which were tied up by Frank Vinicum because I put eight hooks on there for when I go shark fishing, not six. So I'm guaranteed to get mackerel, but I'm also guaranteed to get a tangle. One, two, three, four. I've obviously had five, six, seven sets on there. So there you go. Into there, all my mackerel feathers, nice and easy. So put them on there when you want to finish fishing. Just rinse them off, let them dry, don't put, put them in the tube, job done. So get yourself down to the DIY shop, buy yourself some of this meter long pipe insulation. Get the fat one, don't get the thin one. This is for a 15 mil pipe, but it's probably about two and a half inches across. You can get a thicker hole. You don't really need the holes, not important. What's important is the wide diameter. You don't want a narrow diameter for 15 mil. You want the fattest you can get. So there's no trace memory. There's no coil memory when you take them off. So there you go. Cheap as chips, or even cheaper actually. Pop it in. No more tangles, any rig you want, feathers, traces, even sharp traces, they're all totally toast. They cannot tangle and they hate it. Until next time, good fishing.